so I've actually uh, had a look at what it takes to broadcast on LinkedIn. Broadcast with the LinkedIn Live feature, first you need to complete an application, right? So I went into the complete an application section, and when I get there, it shows me something like this. Like, if you, I guess that's, that's for all the features, like the likes and the hearts and everything, and, and I guess that means that within, uh, within the event page, it'll have a link over there, hopefully. But, you know, we're still kind of figuring this out, uh, figuring this out as I go. Uh, host an event on LinkedIn and invite your network. So I've created the event and I've invited people to it, uh, a good amount of people, and uh, let's see if anybody shows up. But anyways, um, uh, we're going to go in and start completing the application. So alternate email uh, is that. Um, it, do I want to broadcast as a page or a member? I'm going to say a member from which profile? This one over here. Have you turned on two-step verification? All right, so I went into this setting over there. I clicked that setting, and then it shows me this, which tells me install Microsoft Authenticator, um, uh, Microsoft Authenticator, or use another Authenticator app of your choice. And um, that just that's actually an app that I installed on my Android device. I just went into the App Store, and I had a look at, uh, you know, in the Play Store, I did a search for Microsoft Authenticator, okay? I pressed open it, install it, told me to take a picture of a QR code, all right? I get the phone, boom, I take a picture of that QR code over there, all right? And after that, it gave me a, uh, a little code on my phone. Uh, right, I don't really mind if you guys see it. It's not the end of the world. Mm, that's not the right code. It's telling me. Hold on a second. All right, got to make sure to get the get the right code. I'm going to reopen the app now. I'll press open. Uh, open, and then uh, okay, and then I click LinkedIn. Okay. Right, one second. Now I'm actually gonna. I'm gonna bring it bring it from under the screen guys so that way you guys don't see it. Hold on. I'm gonna put that password in and then I'll press and then I'll press uh continue. Hmm. Okay, cool. So I actually put in the code and it saved it. Two step verification is turned on via Authenticator app using your use your Authenticator account codes at sign in. All right, so I guess that that's all they want. LinkedIn wants some extra security for all the people that are broadcasting. Um, you know, I guess that's not the end of the world. Okay, so have you turned on two step verification on the profiles you will stream from? Yes, we have just now. As if applying as a page, what's the name of the page you wish to stream from? Okay, but I'm not applying as a page. Which region are you or your organization? Um, I think I'm located in, okay, Middle East. Do you already stream live video on other platforms? Yeah, sure. If you answered yes to the question about, please provide a link to a live stream or video that was live from you or your page. Please provide a link to a live stream or a video. Okay, so I'm just gonna go into uh, Udemy, okay? Because the name of this of this event is um, uh, um, one second, guys. Oh yeah, should you invest in content? Okay, uh, we're gonna go into Udemy.com. No JS. One second. Um, okay. All ah, right. I want to go to my No JS course. Udemy. Okay. Okay. All right, cool. Here's my Node.js course over here. Control C. Somebody, real person, is probably actually going to check it out. It's got 88 students and 12 ratings at 4.5. Hopefully, that's going to be enough for LinkedIn. Oh, man, there's a real barrier to entry here. If you answered yes to the question, please provide a link to a live stream or video that was live. Okay live from you or your page okay you know what I haven't done live stream no I haven't forget it uh, I'll just do that what ideas do you have for li for streaming live on LinkedIn keep in mind that we're looking for members or pages that can go live with compelling and interactive content on a consistent basis okay interesting 
Uh, what ideas do you have for streaming? Okay, so I guess everybody is going to have a different answer for that. Um, let's see. Um, ideas around... Okay, let's do webinars. Uh, let's see. Hangouts to discuss. Uh, content. Content marketing with video. Content marketing and video marketing. Okay. Uh, possibly also podcasts about Shopify. Got tons of ideas, that's the truth. Shopify development, product management. Dot, dot, dot. Okay, how often would you stream live video on LinkedIn? Probably daily or weekly. Um, I would probably do it weekly just for the sake of it. I might do it. I think that that's, that's good enough. I don't want to overcommit to them. Is there anything else you'd like for us to know? Uh, yeah, there was. Okay, yeah, my Chrome course. My Chrome course has a uh, 4.5 ratings with 88 students and I just got a great new setup with a new uh, condenser microphone microphone and uh, dot 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 new condenser microphone okay that looks pretty good uh, why is condenser misspelled okay we'll just use their spelling condenser microphone all right that's great If you are applying as a member, please scroll to the bottom and click Submit. Okay, um, let's see. And new camera. The Chrome course has a 4.5 rating with 88 students. I just got a great new setup with a new condenser microphone and a new camera. Okay, cool. If you are applying as a member, please scroll to the bottom and click Submit. Let's see. One second, guys. Please enter the first page. At, uh, okay, and that's it. Uh, submitted it. And uh, it's pretty easy. Thanks for contacting us. You've successfully submitted your question. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. View your case. Okay. Hmm. Okay, cool. So I've put everything in there, everything about where I'm from. And it looks like they'll hopefully uh, write me via, via email if, I, if they have any updates. Uh, but that's great. I'm definitely going to bookmark that over here. And done. All right, and that's going to add everything, add it to, to my bookmarks, hopefully. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much how you, uh, how you apply to, um, to broadcast live with LinkedIn. It uh, looks like a pretty cool feature, and hopefully uh, once that approval goes through, um, it'll be a little bit easier to start creating engagement. Um, you know, I already kind of fixed up my LinkedIn profile, of course, if you're considering LinkedIn broadcasting. Uh, make sure to check out over here um, the um, uh, uh, make sure to optimize your LinkedIn profile if you need help uh, selling on on uh, on LinkedIn by the way feel free to reach out uh, my name is Alicia I uh, pretty much have my own marketing agency it's called Social King formerly it was called amp it up but now I'm going with a new name and seeing whether it works uh, yeah, but I think uh, it's um, it, engaging content, creating engaging content is a really, really important, um, you know, being cognizant of your presence on LinkedIn and uh, running new experiments on, um, on new people, um, on new features and seeing whether people are interested um, in connecting online. And, uh, you know, I've also uh, been doing courses on Udemy uh, where I've also been... Um, just creating, creating a lot of content, and I've created uh, one or two apps, uh, one or two social shopping apps. One of them is called My Amazon History. The other one is called Social King, and uh, Social King is also a Shopify app. So uh, to build, uh, to add social media features to Shopify stores, and I've always kind of been thinking in terms of marketing, like what's the important things um, uh, that need to be in place in actual in order to actually scale to scale an app. Um, and, uh, and I think some of the things that need to be in, in place is good marketing, good email marketing as well. Um, but a lot of companies have just been focusing on content, 
content for the website and SEO and but it, the truth is it just takes a long 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 time for SEO um, I've also made some webinars in the past uh, for some companies uh, also webinars about social selling and um, and that's why it's kind of interesting for me uh, this feature on LinkedIn of uh, the LinkedIn broadcast uh, to see see if anything happens uh, it looks like somebody wrote me back on uh, that's so somebody else <laughs> Uh, so yeah, this is um, uh, this is a little bit of a tutorial on on how to use uh, LinkedIn's events features, um, and um, it also as a prerequisite for using LinkedIn's event features. Hopefully, you have already a good a good profile. And I think a lot of companies are also thinking about the LinkedIn profile now, right? So the LinkedIn profile, aside from uh, aside from everything else. Um, aside from all the video content and, and that other stuff, I mean, if you're um, running social selling, and of course, um, uh, you know, and you're trying to create new relationships um, uh, uh, on LinkedIn, then I think it's really important to have an awesome profile. I've pretty much used just about everything I've used. The background image, because I like George Washington, and I think people respond to emotion, and George Washington is kind of a hero, maybe not if you lived in Britain. But uh, I guess from my American perspective, because I grew up in America, um, I still think I still kind of get inspired by George Washington, <laughs> you know, some uh, old white guy. But hey, nothing wrong with that. So um, uh, yeah, that's me over there. That's George Washington building apps and helping others scale theirs. It's kind of my elevator pitch because I've got you know the apps and I do consulting. Um, I have over here Shopify's most affordable CMS. This is straight to the landing page. Oh, okay, it's not going. It goes straight to the landing page, right? So if you have a software as a service product, definitely link to it over there. Use the featured. Uh, I have a, a post that I wrote on LinkedIn, which is kind of uh, people can read more about the two apps and my two Udemy courses. I put big links right there to the two apps and the two Udemy courses. So I think that's also kind of significant is significant in terms of the strategy, which is what are your call to actions? If your LinkedIn profile was a website, what would be your call to actions on your profile? Like where, what would be the goals also? Do you want them to visit a specific page? Do you want them to know that your site was, you know, ranked as top 10 or whatever? And so this allows them to just easily land on my profile. It's got a funny picture of Homer Simpson just because of the Simpsons. The Simpsons, now about that, they, they used to be great, right? All the Simpsons episodes, they used to be awesome until, uh, you know, the m much later and stuff uh, where they started diluting the content and everything. But this is also about content. I put over here a video that I put on, and uh, that's kind of a funny little thing, right? So that's also, like... One second. Anyone can build a Chrome extension. But will the code be clean and extendable? Learn the best practices. Available now on Udemy. Cool. Uh, so that was um, just, again, you know, someone might, might land on there and hope sometimes that video is very powerful. I know that that video is very powerful for sales of the Udemy course. But it's nice to also have it on there if I already took the time to make it. Uh, let's see, of course, in terms of the microphone, right? Because this is a webinar all about uh, should you invest in content. I think uh, the, um, um, the microphone is, is very important in order to sound good. And you can probably hear that over uh, in the video. And yeah, that's all. That's pretty much it. Helping e-commerce brands um, uh, make sure that your profile looks good. If you're interested in, uh, if you have a large sales team and you want to sell via LinkedIn, by the way, I do LinkedIn consulting. And, um, you know, I just uh, I've been in the field for a couple of years already and um, pretty good in terms of the search URLs, right? Sourcing your leads for the campaigns, um, right? Create search, searching for the right individuals in your target audience um, and that kind of stuff also. So if you need any help with that, feel free to just reach out. Um, my name is Alicia. I'm the CTO at Social King, or uh, you know, it's just it's just the name of my agency. I might even want to change this, but the reason why I put CTO at Social King is because I noticed that uh, um, I have a much higher uh, rate of connection acceptance 
So in terms of the people that I invite to connect, I see a much higher acceptance rate when I put my, my name as CTO at Social King. And that kind of makes sense because you don't want to be selling on these platforms, right? A lot of these platforms are meant to build relationships. And I think that that's actually a really, really crucial insight into, into the LinkedIn game and also the social media game. That you really need to be focused on building relationships and you don't want to sell too early also. Uh, so that's also something really, really important to keep in mind. In my case, you know, the fact that I wrote CTO at Social King just means that I just, I don't really try to sell. If I were to write like, uh, you know, founder of agency, f like, uh, like looking for new leads for my marketing agency, like, um, it just wouldn't really be, be so appropriate, right? But CTO at Social King, that's kind of what I do. Uh, you know, I got um, a couple of clients that have helped in the past and a couple of clients that I'm helping currently as well. Uh, you know, very personalized touch and everything. And I think uh, in terms of um, in terms of content or in, uh, in terms of video, they're all really, really great investments to make for your business so that you can start playing this game. And this game is really just building an online community. How are you going to build it? Are you going to build it on Shopify? Are you going to build it? Um, right for e-commerce are you gonna build it for for a SaaS product and um, how do you also uh, just just build your community and make sure that you have that you're starting off with good relationships both for yourself for your brand for your company um, and yeah these are all a lot of important points thanks so guys thanks guys so much for tuning in today and uh, I hope you got some uh, insightful ideas regarding your content strategy. Very quick video, only 23 minutes, and I'm going to put it out there and see whether people actually respond to this type of content. And if people don't respond to this content, I'll just uh, try up new ways, try to get approved by the LinkedIn uh, Broadcast, uh, Broadcast Association um, in order to be able to broadcast and play with, with those tools as well. So I hope you guys remain curious. Um, feel free to reach out if you have any questions, inspiration along the way regarding your content strategy, your online community building strategy, and, um, and any ideas you may have on video, please feel free to share within the event as well, uh, or on the news feed, because I'm going to re repost this, uh, recycle this content, video content, into uh, LinkedIn news feed. So thanks guys so much, and have an awesome day.